This conversation was automatically saved to your conversation history. Uh, frantic copy or something in Lawboy? Uh, frantic pony. Frenetic pony. Something like that. We can't let SWAT into that plant. There's too much at stake. I'm calling Jensen in. Interesting. Uh, he's still on medical leave, D. Uh, Mark... Markovic? Uh, gave him a clear bill of health last week. And how much pressure was she under, huh? I resent that accusation. Resent it like... All you like, but you hired me to protect your ass. You got away with the surgeries because of that neat little clause we had in his contract. But if something happens to him now, it won't trust me. It's your call, boss. We saved his life, for God's sake. I don't think he'll be suing us anytime soon. Sounds like some secret stuff is going on. Should probably go over these ebooks here. I'm guessing that um, these won't matter because I think all of it. Oh, cool. So you can change locations like that to check out different things that you've been to. I didn't realize that, that was what it was for. But I'm guessing that all these ebooks are um, different. No matter what, and you're never gonna find an ebook that's the same. I could be wrong on that. Don't quote me on that. It's very possible that I could be wrong. Anyways, let's go check out the rest of these offices if we can. Did I already try this one? Nope, has four attempts, so I don't think I did. Alright, let's see here. This thing has a couple of ways of getting into my stuff. Oh, let's go for it. Uh-oh. Not good. Not good at all. Gonna get detected. Go, 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 go. Access denied. Oh, I was so close. I thought I was gonna make it. I'll wait until I get some upgrades to do that again. I may have been really close, but it is very possible that I will uh, fail it again. This is already open, so... Let's see... Did I ever go in here? Why is this... Oh, it's open because someone's in here. Hey, how's it going? I'm gonna I'm gonna read your ebook. Is that is that okay? Hearts of Steel, Iron and Shadows. Across the plaza, Meredith saw him stumble and fall against a low wall. She cast a quick glance back to where the demonstrators continued to build toward an outbreak of fury, and then, on an impulse she couldn't explain, she went to him, offering a hand. He looked up from under his hood, and the eyes that glittered there, hard and gray like fragments of sea ice, made her gasp. He stood ignoring her outstretched hand, but there was something there in the depths and at odds with his scowl. Are you? Fine, he murmured. Those eyes narrowed. You're hurt. Just a scratch, she began. But his hand was already coming to up to her cheek. Meredith started her started, I guess. Started as I think it's supposed to be startled or something. As silver fingers touched her skin. To her surprise they were warm. Yeah, he said, turning away, I'm one of them, a cog. I but he was already leaving. Great, so now we've got some random romance book about, um, <laughs> about, uh, augmented people. That's, that's interesting. Let's see if we can get into Tim's office here. Check this out. What do we got? We've got some transfers here. 
This looks like this is going to be slightly difficult, but let's go for it. Oh boy. Go, 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 go. Come on. Access granted. Woo, that was close. Got myself a gray hat. What do we got here? Credit chips. Wow, that's a big chunk of credit chips there. Ooh, hello, ebook. The sleep sleepwalking world. Wake up. Didn't we read this one already? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure if we read this one already. This sounds familiar, the sleepwalking world. But I'm not sure if we read this. This might be just like a newspaper or something. Anyways, wake up. Your government can follow you anywhere under the under the guise of helpful programs such as the Amber Alert database for missing children and the World Smallpox Vaccine Initiative. Those who would seek to control our lives are eroding our liberties. They mask their true intentions. They plan to build a global database of all citizen DNA fingerprints. Your autonomy and self-determination will be curtailed for all time. DNA registration is the death of freedom. Only those people who appear on the global register will be allowed to vote, to travel, to have children, to earn a living, to speak out. non registrants will be non-people. This is a silent, quiet slavery, and we are allowing it to happen. Our elected officials are marketing us like animals in pins, shackling us with the very blood in our veins. A population that can be tracked cannot be free. I can kind of agree with that. What do we got going here? All right, let's uh, do the old clicky click click and find out what's new. There we go. Um, this is from Brian to Tim Carella. Okay, so Tim is involved in this. Did I not see that Tim was involved in this earlier? Anyways, good man, see, I'll find a way in. Don't worry, BT. P.S. Are you deleting the you are deleting these mails, aren't you? Fine, you win. Since we can't use the helipad storage area anymore, I'll put the vials in the basement in a vent shaft. Yep, we found that. But I don't know how you expect to collect them. No more. Don't say that, man. I promised the client no pose, and I gotta make good. Which means you gotta make good, or did you conveniently forget about that little piece of added security I grabbed before Dickwad fired me? You don't deliver the rest of the vials as we discussed, and Mr. Seraph's gonna be watching some pretty incriminating digital images tonight. I'm out, B. I don't know if Malik suspects me, but I just can't take the risk. I'm not stealing. Let's see here. Did we... I think I accidentally went over this one and we didn't read this yet. Hey man, I don't work there anymore. Pritchard fired me for messing with the Intellicam footage, remember? So you'll have to get into her office and snoop around for yourself. If you really want to be sure... All I can do is give you her access code, 5475, if she hasn't changed it, BT. Uh, what do you mean she saw you? Christ, Brian, her knowing is not an option. It could mean my job. You gotta find out if she's on to me. 
Package received. Thanks, C. Next time, though, I think we'll need a new drop zone. Not to make you nervous or anything, but I'm pretty sure the chick who flies the company chopper saw me coming out of the helipad storage after I grabbed it. So this 5475 might be Malik's password, which means we can get into her office. Let's see here, where was that pocket thing? That's not it. Not it. Where the hell was it? I'm trying to find the thing that we found earlier. Call me. Washington dog. See, this stuff looks from really early in the game. Okay. So, M. Gilmore, Brian Tyndall. There we go. So, M. Gilmore is the guy that emailed that, but I don't think that's the one that really matters. Let's see here. This guy isn't M. Gilmore, is he? No, Tim Carrillo. Alright, well, we found out that Tim is in on it. So now we've got that information going for us. I think we pretty much know just about everything. Let's see. Penthouse, according to purchase, human legal, marketing, blah, 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 blah. All right, so let's uh, let's go to Malik's office, which I think is down one level, and see what we can find in Malik's office. What the heck of it? Might be some cool stuff in there. Like booze or something in here. What is that? That is booze. Have I not been in here before? This is my office, isn't it? Yes, for whatever reason, I just missed the fact that there was booze. Anyway, um, what was I doing? I need to find the stairs. Where the hell are they? There we go. Ran right on by him by accident. Now, Malik's office, I think, was over this way. No. Yes. Let's try it. Five, four, seven, five. No. Five, four, seven, five. Thank you. This thing kind of messes up sometimes. What do we got here? Ebook. Building Wings, A Better Tomorrow by David Seraph. What is transhumanism? A grandiose term, perhaps, but an accurate one. It is a search, a great destination that we, as a species, are approaching as our journey through evolution nears its great leap. It is no less than the chance for human beings to reach out and take the helm of their own development. For the first time in history, we live in an era where the factors that define the borders of, human, of the human condition, death, longevity, disability, and other many tyrannies of our own biology can be surpassed. The advancing science of human augmentation technologies allows us to look to an enhanced future, a better tomorrow where the limitations of flesh and bone can be transcended. If I write these words and sound like an evangelist, then perhaps I am. I look to my future entrapped. Or enwrapped. Oops. Whatever. So it sounds like Malik likes to read what David has to say. Let's see what she has on her computer. Let's check it out. 
Helipad storage area. Thank you, Malik. I'll be sure to have a look down there myself. In the meantime, I have changed the code. It's 8053. Might I suggest you delete this mail as soon as you've read it? <laughs> nope. Hey, Pritchard, didn't you fire Brian Tyndall a few weeks ago? I could have sworn I saw him coming out of the helipad storage area the other night. Far as I could tell, nothing was missing, but I think you should change the room's access code just to be safe. So, 8053 for, uh, something by the helipad. We'll check that out. Hey, Fly Girl, I'm serious about hitting J-Tree next month. Think about it. Thanksgiving in the desert. Hanging out after... We nail the fortress. Natural selection. Bobby. Whatever the hell that means. You bring the glow sticks this time. You in? Raz. So apparently Malik likes to uh, go raving for whatever reason. So I'm curious if I did see another sleeping world. Yep, there is a sleeping world. So there's actual volumes. And the sleeping world that I read... Here is volume six. All right, makes sense. Okay, so let's see if we can't find a storage room by the helipad, because I might be able to uh, to get some interesting items from it. I am all about taking every possible thing I can find. Let's see, that does not look like a storage room. What do we have here? This looks interesting. Ah, this could be the storage room. Eight zero five three. Let's see what we got in here. Stun gun darts, ammo, tranquilizers. Anything else? Oop, there's some. And an ammo capacity upgrade. My inventory is full. Great. Um. Well, I would really like to be able to pick that up. So what can I put down for the moment? Let's just go ahead and uh, put down the 10 millimeter pistol. Drop. Put that there. Go ahead and grab this. Picked up one ammo capacity upgrade. What does this do? Examine. Adds a few bullets to the weapon's magazine. Description the extended magazine upgrade will replace a weapon's existing ammunition magazine with a larger, greater capacity version. I wonder if I can use that on my. Uh, I bet you I can't. No, I can't. Only on these kind of things. It would be good if I had a tranquilizer rifle, but I do not. 